Good day and welcome back to Horsemanship 101 again. And uh, she's going to be the focus of this video. They're, they're all here today, as usual. And uh, I just finished watching a, another video by somebody else that was pretty good. I agreed with 100%. And uh, it was the four biggest lies in horsemanship. And, uh, you know, forgive me if I get them wrong, but it really doesn't matter because they all tie together. They're kind of all made up of the same thing in my mind. But uh, it's like, uh, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, for no reason and without warning, my horse did blah, 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 whatever. Something negative, it bolted, spooked, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, it, it all comes down to the same things. I think they're all related. Like, you know, first off, uh, and a horse is, can't just all of a sudden for no reason, you know, can't all of a sudden do something. You, there is a change that takes place in their, you know, physical position or whatever before it can actually do any given thing. And so if you're paying attention, you're going to notice that. Uh, for no reason, there's always a reason. Horses don't do anything for no reason. They always got a reason. You might not think it's a valid reason. It might seem silly to you or whatever. But to the horse, it's a perfectly legitimate reason and quite often a very serious one. Without warning, not if you're paying attention and you understand horses. Horses always give you lots of warning, uh, minutes, hours, sometimes even days in advance. Uh, I'll throw a little analogy at you. Uh, you know, you're riding down a trail, plastic bag blows up, gust of wind, you know, and the horse freaks out, rivers up, does a 180, and bolts the other direction. And you're thinking, man, that, that horse was stupid. It did that for no reason. No, it had a great reason. You're thinking, well, it was just a little plastic bag. Well, one of the reasons is you didn't properly desensitize the horse to the plastic bag. But, you know, skipping that part, the horse had a reason. Because as far as it was concerned, that plastic bag was a horse-eating monster. And it was a matter of life and death. You know, that thing was going to kill and eat him. So the horse was, you know, its instinct, uh, you know, survival instincts kicked in. It went into survival mode. And basically, its reason for doing what it did was a matter of life and death. And I don't think you can get a much better reason than that. That horse wanted to stay alive. Okay, the plastic bag really wasn't going to hurt the horse, but the horse didn't see it that way. So as far as it goes, and that horse actually had a pretty darn good reason. And without warning, well, like I said, if you understand horses and you're paying attention, there's always warnings. And I'll get to that story in a minute because that's got to do with this one. It's something I shared before, but uh, I'm just going to back up a little. I think uh, part of the problem is denial. Like I've said before, nobody likes to be wrong. It's kind of human nature. We don't want to be wrong. So uh, rather than admit that we aren't paying attention, and rather than admit that we don't have good enough knowledge about horses to realize what's going on, it's much easier to create this mystery problem and blame it on the horse. So uh, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, for no reason, without worrying, the horse did blah, 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 blah. Okay? Uh, that's kind of human nature. In it, but, you know, I think, uh, you know, you really need to understand horses. That's one of the things I emphasize is learning to know what a horse does and learning what you're watching for learn to read the signs because you know if you have that knowledge and you're paying attention and you're going to find out very quickly that all of those lies are in fact just that they're huge lies okay and you know it's kind of the way people are and uh you know obviously one of the other things is you know if the horse freaks out on you um chances are you were riding a horse that was not adequately trained for the situation that it was in but and again if you had adequate knowledge and you're paying attention you would have known that okay so uh how this one fits into it well a number of years back and i did a video on this talking a bit about it but uh, i think it goes along real good with this one uh the subject matter is uh when i first started riding her i went to go get on her one day and when i went to go get her oh, she wasn't right as I was leading her up to the crowd, and you know, clearly something wasn't right. As I was tacking her up, nope, uh, she's not right. Uh, take her out in the yard, get on her, riding her around, nope, not right. Um, in the end, she finally did bolt. 
Now, that was my fault 100%. I, I, I own that one because I never should have got on her in the first place. But, And I'm actually surprised that uh, you know, it took as long as it did before she reacted. Now, did she happen all of a sudden? No. Uh, actually, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. Did she not give warning? Oh, she gave me lots of warning, probably about a half an hour's worth of warning and a whole bunch of warnings during that time. Lots of warning. Uh, did she have a reason? Well, I don't know what it was, and to this day I, I don't have a clue what the reason was, but I'm darn sure she had one. And uh, I knew enough to know the signs, and I was actually paying attention enough that I saw them all, Unfortunately, I was a bit of a dummy, and I chose to ignore those signs, and I got on our rotor anyhow. However, on the bright side, uh, I you know, found out that the rest of my training had worked out quite well, because when she did bolt, uh, she was at a full stop within about 150 feet, so that part worked out okay. But uh, did it happen all of a sudden? Nope. Uh, without reason? Well, I don't know what the reason was, but I know she had one. And uh, did she not give me warnings? Lots. Lots and lots. So uh, horses just don't do that. And if you think they do, um, you know, you've got to improve your knowledge, learn a little bit more about what to watch for so you know when things are about to go wrong. You know, sometimes it can happen pretty quick. You know, the horse can tense up and freak out uh, very quickly. But if you're paying attention, you're going to catch that stuff. So, you know, it goes back to the pay attention part too is... Uh, you know, put your silly phone away, stop talking to the other person you're riding with, and pay attention to your horse, okay? It's, you know, and learn what you need to be paying attention to. So if you get the knowledge and you pay attention, none of those things are going to happen, okay? So, four biggest lies in horsemanship. Uh, yeah, horses don't do things out of, all of a sudden without warning and for no reason. You might know what, not know what the reason is. You might not think it's a good reason, but guaranteed, horse has a reason. And they'll always give you a warning if you get the knowledge and you pay attention. Have a good day.